today I've taken a train south of Brashov to a small town called Sinea. Now Sinea is famous for a castle, Pele's Castle, which apparently is one of the most beautiful castles in Transylvania. Now unfortunately I'm not allowed to film in there unless I want to pay a ridiculous fee. And the website does say that you're not allowed to upload any footage to Facebook or YouTube and they will press charges if you do. I'm not paying the fee to film in there because it's more than the actual ticket itself. Hopefully the town itself will have uh, plenty of interesting things to have a look at. So at the minute I've just come out of the station and I'm in this park and as you can see the snow is still here. In Breshoff it's all but disappeared. It's much colder here as well. We are right at the foot of the mountains, we're surrounded by the mountains. Now I had originally planned to stay in Sunea, but there was no hotels within my budget. This one, the Hotel Sunea, actually gave its name to the town. The hotel was built to house people who couldn't get in the monastery if the monastery was full. So they built a hotel, called it the Hotel Sunea, and the town was named after the hotel. The monastery is open, so I'm going to go and check that out. That was the first thing that opened here. Before I came to Romania, the image of Romania I had in my mind was exactly of houses like this. This is the guest house of the monastery. All of the kings and queens, princes and princesses of Romania have stayed in here. I've got to say, I've only been in Romania for just over a week and in that time I've been to Bucharest and Brasov. A couple of day trips, one here and one to Bran to see Dracula's castle. But I'm loving Romania so far. It's a beautiful country, the people are really friendly and it's just one of them places that I think it's a great place to come when it's covered in snow. It's with the castles and all the old uh, buildings and houses. Well, we've got toffee apples. I wasn't sure whether all this would be open. I know when I've looked at vlogs online, it says, you know, you're getting near the castle with all the kind of souvenir stalls. But I thought, would it be like the Boxing Day, 26th of December? But these are all the shut, but they're not. And there's enough people around. What a place to spend Christmas. Oh, I can see the castle. I've got to say, it's uh, more beautiful than the one in Bran by a long shot. I don't know who this dog this is. Been on his own for quite a while. Little beauty though, aren't you? That's the crossroads then. 100 metres up that way is one castle, and 100 metres this way is uh, the castle of Pele. Or Peles, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Um, this is the big one. This is the one that attracts up most of the tourists. One of the most beautiful in Transylvania, apparently. Well, that's about as much as I can show you of the castle. Because I'm going inside now and I'm not paying $10 to be able to film and then not upload it anyway. So 
this is just for me. Subtlety was not a big thing with the uh, royals that lived at this castle. It's quite incredible inside. Everything is just carved to detail. You know, the uh, rails on the stairs, you, everywhere you look is just in incredible. Um, I was in there for about maybe, I don't know, half an hour or something. So I, d I did both floors, did the ground floor and the uh, first floor as well. Um, it's just stunning inside. Um, sorry, I can't show you what it's like, but uh, them's the rules. Right, there's a smaller castle over here, a couple of hundred metres away. And that's half the price of this one. Uh, while I'm here, might as well take a look. This is the Pelosaurus Castle, which is a couple of hundred metres away from the Pelos Castle. The insides of that castle were nowhere near as impressive as the other one, Perlo's Castle. Um, I wouldn't necessarily that was really essential. I think if you come here, Perlo's Castle is enough. That one is a big disappointment after Perlo's Castle, to be honest. Not only is Google Maps taking me down this extremely <coughs> slippy road, but I've got this guy to contend with. He is moving away to the car. I managed to get down the slippy icy road without slipping and uh, the barky dog carried on barking but let me pass and uh, yeah I thought that was it and then I turned down and he was right bloody behind me cheeky little bugger so basically uh, one Oh, that's it. Right. Perfect. Thank you. Some dill on. And that's it for my time in Sunea. It's been a great day, to be honest. It's a lovely town, and uh, the Pele's castle was was really good. The second one was not not so great, but. Uh, I've just been in the cafe and enjoyed some lovely Romanian food and now I'm going to try and get down these steps without slipping and I'm back at the train station where my train is due to leave in about half an hour's time Definitely recommend it as a day trip from uh, Brasov, it's been a fantastic day